Good morning, Awakeners. I'm having a realization that I want to share in case it can help anybody out there who is going through their spiritual awakening and gets confused. I have been vacillating between total surrender, getting still and quiet, and then wondering where does the action part as a human self come in. And then I saw a video by Tripper Tripper's Way. If you don't follow him, he's amazing. Um, I'll tag him here. And he said, the universe responds to intensity and action. And I'm like, well, where does that fit in when I'm supposed to just be in surrender and quiet and calm? And what I realize happens is it's a two-step process. So I have to get surrendered, quiet and calm, and then align with the divine. And then, then the energy comes in. And then it, it's at that point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't just lay down and wait for life to come to me. My business right now needs my energy. It needs my focus and it needs me to be aligned with the divine so that when I go out into the world, I have a really high energy so that the universe can attract to me what I'm calling in. And so I've been back and forth, back and forth. Should I just close down my business and get myself focused on doing divine hustler retreats and being inspirational spiritual teacher and what does that look like and every time i get caught in this confused state of mind i think i'm throwing confused energy out into the world so i am speaking my word loudly and clearly to the universe right now i will align with the divine and ask my guides and all the grace of the universe to guide me, protect me, draw to me anybody that I can bring my light worker self into the relationships of my daily life. So some of the awakeners on here are like, shut it all down and let's just focus on the awakening only. But we are in a human experience, having the gifts of getting to feel how wonderful it is to be the creator, being productive, creating beauty, doing all the things, whatever your brand of that is. For, for me, I'm an interior designer. I love homes. I love watching the impact of what having a safe, thoughtfully, soulfully curated space, the impact that has on people. And LMB Interiors is my sister goddess, and she has provided this tremendous opportunity to expand my energy out into other people's lives and then there's the spiritual ego that's like you should shut that down and go away it must be a sign from the universe that the business is retracting right now that you should be being a light worker and it's like i don't need to know i'm going to just keep showing up on my meditation cushion praying and aligning with the divine surrendering fully and then as I step out into the world, bring that aligned um, vibration into action to go out and give my gifts and then let go of any attachment to how it's going to turn out. So take what you like and leave the rest. Let's do this.